Hey everyone, this is Broomster, and this is the final puzzle in the Happy Birthday Maggie puzzle pack, which is a pack that people put together for Maggie um, to solve, which is absolutely great. Um, this is a triple tabs puzzle, um, and what I'm going to recommend for anyone solving a triple tabs puzzle is to go into the settings and turn on the outlines on elements. It makes the digits in the triple tabs a lot clearer to see. When I've been posting links to my own triple tabs puzzles, which is a constraint that Maggie and I came up with, um, we've been putting in the URL the, um, the forced uh, put that on for the puzzle. And I may do it in the link below, but it definitely makes the digits in the tabs easier to see. Um, so yeah, uh, thank you Rockrat Zero for uh, solve, creating a puzzle with our constraint. Um, Maggie's favorite constraint is the outside constraint, which is you've seen a couple of in this pack. And the whole point of the triple tabs constraint was to basically move the outside constraint in. Um, so the diagonal outside constraint is something that we've seen a bit of recently, but we just wanted to move them into the grid so that the three cells were didn't have to be in the outside and we could play with some overlap. And we played around with that for a bit and we released a couple of puzzles, one of which was featured on CTC. Um, and Mark, oh my Lord, he found some amazing stuff in that one. He, he bypassed our opening completely, which is fine. It's great. Um, but um, yeah, and it, this is the first puzzle um, we have seen with someone else creating a triple tabs puzzle. So we're really happy with that. We hope more people will. Um, so anyway, let's look at this. And Maggie thought this was the best birthday present ever. Someone saying, oh my God, it's, it's, it's our constraint. So yeah, it's great. So anyway, let's have a look. So normal Sudoku rules apply in every box, in every row, and in every column. The digits one to nine must be placed without repetition. And triple tabs, digits in tabs must be placed within three cells of the narrow end of the tab in that row or column. What does that mean? If we were to look at this seven, eight, nine tab, it would mean that seven, eight, nine must be placed in those three cells because the three cells from the tab, so you can see that there's a narrow end of the tab, the three cells must be placed in those, uh, the, the three digits must be placed in those. Similarly, three, four, five on that tab means that those cells must contain three, four, five. Now a tab doesn't have to have three digits. This is made to be an easy one. For example, this eight says that there must be an eight in those three cells. Most of the, all, pretty much all of these tabs have three cells in them. Many of the puzzles we made, or we've made a few now, did not have three digits in them. So these are basically giving the digits um, and it's going to be mo I think this is mostly going to be like a pencil mark Sudoku and that's fine um, it'll be interesting to see how this one plays out um, but uh, yeah um, you can do a lot with triple tabs if you if you're a little sneaky we've learned so uh, if you're a setter play around with it. But meanwhile, I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. So we know that these three cells are five, six and seven. And we know that these are seven, eight, nine, but this can't be a seven. So the seven is in one of those two. We know this can't be an eight because the eight has to be in one of those three cells. We know this is two, three, and four. As I said, this is almost a pencil mark Sudoku, but that's okay. Um, these are one, three, and five. Uh, these are three, four, and five, but we know these are four, five, and six. So there's no three there. This is four, five, six. Um, the three has to be in one of those two, but the two, three, four looks down saying that can't be the three or four. So that's the five. That's the four. I can take the four out of those. This isn't the four or the five. This is the three. Um, this is a one, two, three here. So this is a one, two pair. Um, now this is five, six, seven in here, but the five and the six is looking down, making this the seven. So this is the five, six, the five looks down, making this the six and this the five. So far, this is fairly easy. The six and the seven look across at this six, seven, eight tab, making this the six, seven pair and that the eight. This is two, three, four, which means this can't be a three. Okay, this is three, four, five, which means this is the six and this is the five because this is three, four, five. The four and the five look down, making that the three and there's no three there. Okay, the eight looks up, making that the nine, which makes that the seven and that the eight. So this eight clue is done. The six, seven looks up, making that the five, taking the five out of here. This is a triple tabs, but it really does feel more like a pencil mark puzzle. It's fine. I mean, if you're using a, I mean, I I do I do feel in some ways it's 
it's a bit of a letdown, but it, um, Maggie loves classic Sudoku. Maggie absolutely adores classic Sudoku. So for this pack, this was perfect. Um, so this is a six, seven, eight triple. Normally I would complain about that, but for this pack, it's perfect. So this was six, seven, eight, but the seven, eight looking across made this a six. Now, uh, the one, three, five, of course, makes that the two and that the one. Personally, I'm not a fan of this as a concept, but okay, the two, the three, four, five here means this can't be the three of four. This is the two. This is the three, four. The six looks across making that the seven and that the six. Five, five, that is now a five by Sudoku, which means that's not a five. Oh, the five looks down here saying that's not the five, so that is the five. Okay, where am I looking now? It's an interesting question, isn't it? One is in one of those two. Two, three, four. This is a one, five pair, in fact. So one, two, three, four, five. This is a six, nine pair. And the six, seven is look across, making that the nine and that the six. The five, of course, makes that the one and that the five. This is a pair. One, two, three, four, five, six, four, and eight go into those. And the four, five looks across, making that the eight and that the four. Placement of triple tabs is really, really tricky at times. This is a really good introduction to one of the concepts we loved playing with early on in triple tabs, which is when you have something like this, where you can overlap triple tabs to place the, um, to place a digit, like the three, four, five, hit the four, five, six, making restrictions and, and all of these overlaps. With outside clues, you saw it in some of the earlier ones, where where if you've got outside clues with the same digit in a corner box, um, you can place a digit. This is a similar sort of thing, but you can do it anywhere in the grid because you've moved the clues inside. And they can be a little bit tricky because like with the seven, eight, nine and the eight here, you could tell that the eight couldn't be here, but you weren't quite sure what was going on. You still had a little bit of leeway. They give you similar constraints, but a little bit more leeway. And I, I love that about them. Um, we've really enjoyed playing with the triple tab constraint, I have to say. Eight is in one of these two because of the eight looking down from this tab. So eight can't be here and eight can't be here. So this becomes an eight. I could have, yeah, there were ways of doing that. So this is a triple. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, nine. Hmm. Okay. So where to look now? This is becoming a tricky scanning exercise. Maggie is so much better at basic Sudoku than I am. So where is four in box four? Four can't go in any of those. And the three, four here means that's not a four. So that's a four. This is now a quadruple. One, well, two is in one of those two because the two is knocking it out of those, which puts two in one of those two. Now, okay, so two being here, that's not a two. Two is up here. Don't think that's it. But anyway... One, two, three, four, five, six. These are, these are from seven, eight, nine. Hmm, that's not enough, is it? I don't think that's enough. What is this quadruple? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, eight, nine. Well, that's not two. We already knew that. No. Hmm. Twixy. One is in one of those two. Two is in one of those two, because that two sees those, and the two, three, four is looking down seeing those. Oh, this is a two, three pair. Two, three can't be in any of those, and the two, three, four is looking down. This is a two, three pair. That's cool. So this is now a triple. One, seven, nine. And there's no one there. So one, seven, there's an eight in one of those two. Oh, the one three takes one out of there, of course. This is an eight or a nine. So one, I've got to put four in one of those two because I don't have a four in this row and the four is knocking it out of that box. Or I could use Sudoku to say it's not in any of those. But the two, three, four says that's not the four, that's the four. So one, two, three, four, five, these are six, seven, eight, nine. And the six says the six isn't there. That's the six. This is seven, eight, nine. Hmm. 
this is seven, eight, nine. This is now the six in this box. So this is seven or nine. Hmm, I'm missing something. Have I done all the tab clues? One, three, five, three, four, five, four, five, six, one, two, three, seven, eight, nine. Got the eight, got the two, three, four, got the five, six, seven. Okay, so it's just me missing something. Maggie is way better at classic Sudoku than I am. One, two, three, four, five. I've got to put a six in one of those two. So that is a six. And this is one, seven, nine. And it's not seven or nine. So this is the one. So one comes out of here. This is the one. This is a seven, nine pair. One takes one out of there. Oh, the four makes that the three and that the four, which makes that the two and that the three. The two makes that the nine and takes nine out of both of those. Okay, this is now known. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That is a nine. The one looks up making that the three and that the one. This is a pair in this column. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. These are two and four, and there's a four in the box. That's the two, that's the four. There's no four there. There's not a two, this is a triple. Seven, eight, nine. Well, there's no nine there. There's one is in one of those two. This is a quadruple, which is one, two, three, eight. So eight is in one of those two. One is in one of those two. Three is in one of those two. This is a two, three pair. This is just a two, three pair because two and three have to go in this box somewhere. It's not in any of those and the two, three knocks it out of those. So this is a two, three pair. So this has to be one, eight and the eight can't go there. So this is the eight and this is the one saying that one isn't there. Eight isn't there, but the eight makes that the seven and that the eight, which makes that the nine. This isn't eight or nine. That's the seven, which makes that the nine and that the eight. The nine looks down making that the seven and that the nine. That was what I'd missed, that two, three pair. Okay, the eight takes eight out of there. The two, three pair takes two out of there. I've lost my flow while doing an explanation. That happens a lot. The nine takes nine out of all of those. So by pencil mark, this is the one and this is a two, eight pair. And that eight makes that the two and that the eight. The two takes two out of there. The two makes that the three and that the two, which makes that the three, which makes that the four, which makes that the two. The six looks up making that the seven and that the six. The seven looks down making that the eight and taking eight out of there. This is a seven, nine, and I'll use the nine to make that the seven and that the nine. This is beautiful. This is a two, three pair. So this is a one, seven pair, and I'll use the seven to make that the one and that the seven. The one looks down making that the two and that the one. The two looks up making that the three and that the two. Still can't resolve the four, five, but I'm close. I need to put a three in here. No, though the three is in one of those two. That three looks up saying not there. That's the three. I've uh, got to put a four, but the fours mean that's the four, which looks down making that the five and that the four. One, two, three, four, five and nine go into those. I'll use that nine to make that the five and that the nine. 10 minutes, 47. All of these were, with a couple of exceptions, were around 10 minutes, which is a beautiful coffee break puzzle and absolutely stunning. This one was mostly a classic using the triple tabs as a way of breaking into it. Most of the time, I'm not a fan of that, but Maggie is, which is perfect. So, um, I, uh, yeah, and let's face it, I get to see the triple tabs constraint in use, which is also worth it. Um, and if people are starting to explore that constraint, it's great. Um, Maggie, um, I was around when Maggie solved this puzzle. The only one I wasn't was the, the previous one. Um, was it, I, uh, it was in Italian, uh, the Frappi puzzle. Um, I, I, I don't remember Italian. I'm sorry. Uh, bon compleanno. Um, I think it is, I probably got that wrong. Um, but, um, 
that's the only one I wasn't around to see, and she loved this one. Um, no offense to all the other setters, she loved all of them, but I think this was her favorite because a she got to see the constraint that she helped con create um, in a puzzle. B um, sort of medium difficult, uh, medium classic Sudokus are her favorite apart from outside. And I think the reason she likes outside is because it's providing a constraint, which are just extra pencil marks. Um, she loves pointing triples and pointing pairs and that sort of stuff. They're the things that she loves and the outside constraint and similarly triple tabs are just giving those. You are getting these pointing, um, the, these pointing pairs and stuff in a way that is, not done very often is is hard to set up in a classic Sudoku, but with an outside Sudoku is a little bit easier to force, um, which is why that she loves them so much. Um, so this is why we've enjoyed this constraint. Thank you, Rock Rat Zero, for taking the plunge on this one. We really do appreciate it. Um, yeah. Thanks everyone for watching. We really do hope you've enjoyed the pack. I know Maggie was, when she first saw the pack, her face lit up. Um, it was absolutely stunning. Thanks everyone. And as always, Good luck with your solving.